direction. Now, Colleen and Bailey have done the change of direction at the top before, so she wanted to know some ideas on how to be able to get it at the canopy. So when you do the change of direction, if your horse is traveling to the right, so say I'm, I'm uh, 90 degrees from the camera, so the horse is traveling to the right, when the horse gets to my shoulder, I'm gonna turn those 90 degrees. That's gonna allow the horse to know something's gonna happen. It could be a change in gait, uh, or it could be a change in direction. It could also be a draw. So when you turn, it's a signal to your horse that something's gonna happen. So, horse is traveling to the right. I turn to the right. I'm gonna have my tools set up so that it's easy for me to resend. Horse is traveling to the right. I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna back up. I'm gonna get that draw. As soon as they draw, I'm gonna resend. And then I'm gonna walk straight back to where I was. So one of the downfalls of our pitfalls that happen sometimes is one, we don't wait until the horse gets all the way to our shoulder. We start it too soon. Another thing that happens is when we get to change of direction, we wanna turn and resend them. So try not to do that. You're just gonna turn that 90 degrees, look where you're focused, back up, get two eyes, resend, allow the horse to go that direction, and then walk back forward. Another pitfall that happens is when you recent your horse that direction and you go to step forward, when you step forward, you're a little bit too late. So the horse is behind you and you go to step forward and that creates a draw and then the horse wants to come in behind you. Again, he's thinking he's doing the right thing and that's where the traveling circling game will help if you're able to get to a point where you can just keep walking and have that horse circle around you where you don't have to stop. So it's a couple different things you can play with to help your horse understand the goal. So Colleen just took Bailey, Bailey Colleen, just pulled her out of the pasture. They haven't warmed up, they haven't done anything yet. So we're gonna start off with to see if Bailey can just maintain gait to the right. So Colleen's using a feather light line. It's the same 22 feet away, uh, you know, 22 feet in distance. It's just a little bit lighter. Great, she did a good job getting time with the feet. Okay, send her off at a trot. Very good, she's gonna find neutral. She's gonna try, see how she's kind of leading her around the circle, try not to do that. And that's really nice, she's at the end of the 22 foot line. Try not to lead her around the circle, there you go. Very good. So first she needs to establish the circling game. That looks really good. So now Colleen, on your own, remember which direction you're headed. And when you're ready and she's set up, you're gonna do a maintain direction at the trot. So it'll be helpful if she's at the end of her line. <laughs> Wait till she gets to your right shoulder. Turn 90 degrees, take a feel on the line, back up, draw, resend and walk in straight to where you were. Try to keep maintaining the gait. So you'll see in the video, she turned a couple different directions and how she's actually standing right now is how she started. So she should have been, when she ended, she should have been facing the door. <laughs> Good. So she's still trotting, so try not to point. Got a nice looking shoe. When you're ready, on your own, you're gonna change direction again. You're gonna wait till she gets to your left shoulder and then you'll be looking at that wall when you're done. Back up, draw, resend, walk straight back to the wall. Very nice. Okay, on your own, 
see if you can get her to spiral in and spiral out. So you're gonna keep your feet in neutral. And just every time she goes around, take up more of a feel. Keep going, you ain't got much of a feel there, there you go. And you're gonna be noticing at what point does she start to have a good bend in her body, a good banana bend. So have a little bit more feel, there's a lot of slack in the line. So that's how I know there's not much feel. Very good. Keep your body engaged. So how little can you go and have her still maintain the gait? Okay, that was about it. So now you're gonna just kind of feed the rope back out, put some energy on her shoulder. And it's really nice Colleen's feeding the rope out instead of allowing the horse to pull it out of her hands. We don't want to teach our horses to pull. Good. When you're ready, I'd go ahead and invite her in. Very nice. Excellent. Good. Okay, so we've established a trot. That looks pretty good. We did a change of direction both ways. Now, the canter, things are going to happen a lot faster, and she's got to have a lot more um, life in her body. Okay? So, Let's think about, see if she can maintain gait at the canter. We've given her muscles a chance to warm up a little bit. Colleen's gonna keep her body nice and straight for the back up. Just gonna think about the feet. There you go. And go. Okay, we need a canter. Try not to lead her around the circle. Keep your feet in neutral. So you wanna make sure you go through your phases first. So lead it, then lift it, swing it, touch it. Long phase one, quick two, three, four. Good. Now Bailey is a, um, she was trained Western Pleasure. So, although it looks like she has a gimp to her, she doesn't. That is just how she moves. <laughs> no big deal, dropping the stick, we all do it. That was really good. Bailey thought she was doing the right thing by coming in. Make sure you go through your phases. She needs to be responsive. If you want this flying lead change, you've got to be more responsive and straight. Get her straight before she leaves. Straight. Straight. There you go. Very good. Okay, see if you can get her to leave off at a, a trot or canter. She's got to have some impulsion. Good. There's a better trot. Okay, good. Now you got your canter. Now you're in neutral. That's the life she needs. Try not to lead her around the circle. You should be cantering. You should be, there, good, very good. Okay, so we're gonna break this down a little bit. So what I'd like you to do, Colleen, on your own, take your time. That's a good blowout. You're gonna, oh, you should be cantering, good. You're gonna kinda do half of the change of direction well, you're gonna, you're gonna turn and you're gonna draw her straight into you, trying to maintain the canter right to you. And then rubber. So she's gonna draw her to you. Don't disengage her. She needs to stay engaged. Good, draw her straight into you. Back up, back up straight. Back up, keep backing up, back up straight. Very good, very good. <laughs> Make sure she comes in straight. See how she put you crooked? Very good, ask her straight. Because the horse needs to know the goal. If you always allow them to come in crooked, pretty soon they think that's the goal. Very good. Now Bailey is an introverted horse. She's more of a right brain introvert. So we'll just give her a little time here. Not 
It's nice and straight. Good. All right, why don't you walk back to where you were, just nice and easy. Don't, don't back her up, you just turn and walk and give her the time to lick and chew then. Oh good, perfect, good. Okay, get back to your circle, your center, wherever you were, and now you're gonna go the other direction. So you went to the left, you're gonna go to the right. You're right, yep. <laughs> Okay, so everything we do, we're thinking about the quality. So for the flying lead change, we need a snappy response. So on the backup, it needs to be at a higher level. <laughs> Good, much better backup. Really nice. And go, go. <laughs> Okay, so she did a um, counter canner there, no big deal. Okay, and get her a little bit more motivated at the canter. So have a little bit more energy at the canter. Get her moving. That looks good. Free up her feet, free up her legs. Very good. On your own, oh, keep cantering, good. On your own, you're gonna do that kind of a half a change of direction where you're gonna kind of turn and then run backwards and see if you can get her to maintain cantering to you. Oh, she's cross-firing, don't do it yet. There you go, good. <laughs> okay, when you're ready. Turn and then back up. Keep backing up. Back up, back up. You're doing good. Keep spiraling as you back up. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so with Bailey, um, like I said, as soon as you start pushing some buttons, things show up in your horse. So she just did that blowout, like that whale blowout. And, uh, those of you that were with us last night for our workout, or it might have been a couple nights ago by the time we watched this video, um, Linda did the send them and then park. And so they bring up their life and then let them relax. Good. Okay. So go ahead now, and now you're going to ask her into a canter. Now, which way did she canter better? Yeah, so she was more emotional going to the right. But okay. I didn't ask her to go faster the other direction, so I don't know if she would have done the same thing. She didn't start doing the cross firing and, and got to get huffed up, so I kind of got after her, and then she started getting trapped. So this other way, I just let her do her, her nice little boat. So when she was going to the left, she, she was stretching out more. Yep. When she went to the right, she, had a, she was kind of balled up a little bit. So, okay, so let's just, we're going to see what happens here. So we're just going to experiment. To the left, yep. Okay, so we're gonna try for the flying lead change and just see what happens. And then we're gonna figure out what to do if it doesn't go right. Okay. So you, because her left is the better direction, you're gonna send her to the right first. Oh. So that way when you do your change of direction, she'll be going her better way. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, we're doing the opposite, but that makes more sense. Okay, so find your center, center your circle. There you go. If she breaks gate during the change, don't make it a big deal. But once she changes the direction and she's headed out, get her back up into the canter. Okay. It's just like the barrels. Don't make the transition uncomfortable. You want to make that transition comfortable. Now, we're crooked. Okay, so go ahead, get her straight. Try not to move your feet. You got... There you go. Good. That's really good you noticed that. Very good. Good. 
Very good. Keep your body straight, and then when you're ready, you can go to the right. I believe that's left. Oh, yep, try again. No big deal. See if you can get her to draw into you with a trot. Good. Okay, have her come in straight. See if she came in crooked. <laughs> Colleen said, oh, we're just full of crookedness. And the more you start to be aware of this, these things, when they come in, you can be aware of how to keep them straight. Well, yeah, I just realized that I'm always going, instead of staying straight and asking her to straighten up, I kind of go crooked with her. Okay, so find your center of the circle again, because you're going to be into the wall. There you go. Good. So you send her out and then wait. Don't let her just take off immediately. So this is where we talk. So just let her sit there. Don't go yet. That's a great question she's asking. Go ahead and invite her back in. So lean back. Draw in your body. Very good. So this is a, of how you can not teach assumptions. Principle number two. And Martin talks about um, anticipation, but we want controlled anticipation. Okay, go ahead, back her back out. Nice and straight, talk to the feet. Then when you're ready, send her off to the right. Go, 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 cantering, go. Okay, she needs a little bit more motivated canter when you're ready. A little bit more. There you go. Now, on your own, figure out where you need to turn. And just try to keep that canter life in your body. Good, so that was a perfect time to say, keep going, don't change it, good. Turn, back up fast, back, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, point, and resend. Good, back into the canter. Good, this will definitely bring up the life in your horse. On your own. <laughs> back into the canter, you should be cantering. So now we're gonna let her settle at the canter, so you're not gonna ask for a change of direction. So her tail's kind of flared. And this is kind of Bailey's, um, a, a common thing with Bailey when she starts to get emotional. Mentally, she gets all fired up. So we, we're gonna, we want her to find the comfort on the circle. Okay, so now would be a good time to work on your spiraling. Let's see if she can maintain the canter. Good. Just ever so softly. Great. Good. Very good. So by the way, you need to be cantering. Good. By the way, you need to be cantering. You're not going to make her feel wrong. As she's cross firing. <laughs> it's okay, hang in there. By the way, you need to be cantering. It's okay, hang in there. By the way, you need to be cantering. By the way, you need to be cantering. Good, very good. Now do your spiraling until she comes down to a trot, but she has to keep trotting, good. Okay, do your spiral. She wants to canter, that's fine, but you just say we're spiraling. Keep bringing in the spiral. And Colleen's doing a great job because Bailey's pulling pretty hard. She's not tossing the rope over her head. There you go, so keep trotting, spiral closer. Very 
good. Okay, spiral back out. Keep trotting. Keep trotting. Keep trotting. Good. There's a little lick and chew. The Colleen's doing a great job. She got tangled up, but she's just gonna work through it. She's gonna make sure she doesn't get her fingers in any of the knots. Okay, when you're ready, back up into the canter. Lead it, lift it. Go ahead, go. She needs to respond. She needs to be in that working canter again. Very good. Now, when you're ready, you're gonna do that half a change of direction and have her see if she can, oh, there you go, that's okay. I was setting it up so you didn't have to do that. Oh, she ain't gonna miss nothing. Yeah, so if you do drop your stick, what I was setting you up for was to do a change of direction and have her canter towards you okay. so that you didn't need your stick. Okay. Okay. And then you could pick it up. Yeah, sure, good. Back straight, 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 straight. Okay, so I'm gonna give you another tip here that you can do. So have your stick, hold your stick, not like a nice pick. Okay, now put your stick underneath your rope. There you go, very good. Now, if she were to go to the left, you can just lift your stick up on the other side of the rope. Can you just show these people at home? So put the stick, nope, you're gonna do it under your rope, that way you don't get tangled up. There you go. Now she's going to the right, put your stick on the right. Now she goes left, put your stick on the left. There you go, and back her up. Very good. So there's two ends of the horse that you can move. Good. So now be soft, smooth. Try to find neutral again. You should be cantering. You should, <laughs> you should be cantering. Good. So find your neutral and we're gonna end with her doing two laps at the canter. Cause this was a really good session where she brought up her emotions and then you helped her bring them down. There's one lap. Don't worry about it. Oh, back into the canter. Every time she breaks gate, you have to start over. Okay, she's picking up speed, so you could do your uh, like a spiral a little bit. There you go. There's one lap. When she passes your belly button, just turn and run backwards and have her maintain gait towards you. Oh, she switched leads. Now she's cross firing. <laughs> Very good, coming straight. Did she come in straight? Get her straight. Very good. Good. 